Hey guys, welcome to the third tutorial of tutorial 1.2 of the series using MATLAB GUI with Arduino support package. And today we are going to control the brightness of an LED connected to Arduino Uno digital pin by typing any value between 0 to 5 on the added box. And we will get a corresponding voltage value across the LED. So with that being said, let's get started. Create a GUI, go to new graphical user interface and select blank GUI, the default one. Click OK. OK, so this is a GUI window. Now select the push button and place it here. Now select added text, which is this one, and just place it below the push button. Now double click the push button. Now we're going to change its string and tag. So right now the string is push button. I'm going to change the string name from push button to fire. And now the tag, I'm going to name the tag also fire. Now hit enter. Now double click edit text. Right now the string name of edit text is edit text. So what we are going to do is we are going to just leave it empty because we want to put some value in the edit box and the tag name is changed to write pwm value which is the function name of this edit text box okay now let's run this ui let's save the file name with tutorial 2 click save okay so this is our gui and this is the command window or we can say program window of our gui we just created so this is the opening function of our program this is the push button function which is fire we just renamed the tag name to fire this is the right pwm value function which is the edit text box for our gui to work on arduino first of all what you're going to do is we're going to assign variable a as global variable under the opening function then we are going to assign it equals to Arduino which is connected to COM3 of my laptop. You can check to which COM it is connected on your laptop by going to Arduino IDE. But before all this, we must first clear all the previous values stored by using a command clear all. Okay, now we have two functions, fire which was our push button and write pwm value which is the edit text box so we want to take edit text box value which is number and then put it on a particular digital pin of Arduino. so first of all you're going to again assign global variable a here now we are going to use command write pwm value to write pwm voltage on digital pin 10 so write pwm voltage on Arduino's pin number 10 having voltage value x. Now x is a variable here but I haven't initialized it yet. So x equals to get in bracket handles dot. Now just copy the function name of edit text box which is write pwm value here. and paste it here. Function of this command is to get the input from edit box which will be a string type data and then save it on a variable called x. But x cannot be a string since it's a voltage value given to digital pin of Arduino. So to convert this string to number we have to type str to num. So once again what this function or command is going to do is get the input from edit box which will be a string type data and then save it in a variable x but since we have used the command str to num so this string will then be converted to number and then saved to the variable x which we are then giving as a input value or we can say voltage value on pin number 10 of Arduino Uno. Now we don't have to do anything with the function of edit box so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now click run. Now the code is uploading to Arduino so it will take little bit time to upload. So 
program is uploaded. Now let's open the camera. So uh, here's the connection. LED's positive terminal is connected to pin number as we have mentioned in the code and uh, in series with the resistor to ground. Now let's see our GUI in action. So in edit box, I'm going to type 2 and fire. Now for 4, the brightness is increased. Now let's see for 5, brightness is increased more. Okay, uh, now let's type small value 0.2. So brightness is very low right now. Uh, now for 2.5 fire okay so brightness is increased so uh, now for zero it's completely off please remember that maximum value is five and minimum value is zero so guys this is all for today if you like this video then please hit the subscribe button and if you have any queries and suggestions regarding today's project then just leave a comment in the comment section and in the next tutorial we're going to control the brightness of the same led by using a potentiometer so they take input from a potentiometer and then accordingly change the brightness of the led until then i see you next time bye bye